illegal southwest border crossings are down by an extraordinary 40 percent. Both the economy and the border are already responding to the president's agenda, even while we're still in the beginning stages of putting his policies in place. Well, the number of people crossing into the country on our southern border illegally dropping during President Trump's first full month in office, something like 40 percent. Does that mean the tough talk is working? Let's talk to the lieutenant governor of the great state of Texas, Dan Patrick, who joins us from Houston. Dan, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, sir. Uh, it sounds like the Trump talk is working. People are not coming across the border in those record right. numbers anymore. Absolutely, Steve. I've always thought a part of the plan was marketing. The message that you send, of Barack Obama, you know, we talk about sanctuary cities. Uh, Barack Obama made America a sanctuary country. He rolled out the red carpet. People felt like they could get here. Once they got past the border, they could stay. That's what their relatives told them. So now the message is wall, not red carpet. And they get the message back from their relatives and friends who are here that it's it's tougher to cross. They see television. They see that we're hiring more ICE agents, more mm -hmm. Border Patrol agents. And they understand that we're serious about this. Messaging works. We still need the wall, though, Steve. Absolutely. We just played a soundbite, Dan. I don't know if you saw it. But uh, Mitch McConnell yeah. yesterday said a playbook event yes. that uh, Mexico would not pay for the wall. But if you look at the numbers, if the uh, number of illegals coming in the country is down by 40 percent in one month, I would say Mexico yeah. is already paying for the wall. Steve, you're absolutely right. Look, countries do basically three things. We educate, medicate, and incarcerate. The cost of education and, and medication for any citizen is expensive to the government, local and the, and the federal government. So the fewer people that come here are in Mexico. Right. And, and, and actually today, about only one out of four people, Steve, come from Mexico. It's mostly Central America and other countries. But those countries now have to absorb those people. And when we have someone come here illegally, Steve, and we have to educate them, and they're two and three grade levels behind, it's very expensive. When they go to the emergency room and they have no medical background and doctors have to do thousand dollars on test yep. uh, where maybe an easy prescription would take care of the issue it's much more expensive to treat them so there's a real cost to people who come here illegally and and Steve the reason we need the wall is too many people most people come here for the American dream but too many criminals come with them in just the last four and a half years Steve in Texas we put over 212,000 people in jail who are mm -hmm. criminal aliens we charged them with 566,000 crimes over a thousand sexual assaults or thousand murders over 6,000 sexual assaults wow. 67,000 drug offenses 67,000 assaults I mean think about that people who have come here illegally the criminals who come here who blend in with everyone else who's coming for the American dream uh, almost 600,000 crimes in Texas right. uh, through from January of this year just through June of 2011. That has to stop. And and when we put up the wall, when we deport gotcha. these people, we have to keep the criminals from coming back. Because how many times on on your morning right. Fox News do you say this person's been deported two, three, four times, no, still committing crimes? So we need the wall. Good point. All right, uh, Dan Patrick, Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Texas, sir. Thank you.